Hi, today you are going to go over how to create a brand new Phoenix application. It's just going to be bare bone. It's going to look like this. Um, it doesn't do anything. So if you go to phoenixframework.org, uh, click on guides and click on installation. Um, there's instruction on here on how to um, install everything. I also have a blog that kind of go along with this video. Um, and as you can see on my blog, I say the first step that you need is Elixir. So in your terminal, if you type in Elixir space dash V, um, just to make sure that you have Elixir installed, I have version 1.2.0. And then type in, uh, so the second thing you need is Node.js. So then if you type in Node space dash V, you should have something of version 5 and up. Um, I don't think it worked quite well with anything below version four or 5. And then the third thing you need is hex to install your dependencies. So if you type in mix local dot hex, um, so it should download um, the file for you. And then uh, fourth thing you need is the Mix Phoenix archive and notice the command I gave um, is linked to version 1.1.1. Um, if you go to Elixir installation and scroll down to Phoenix, um, this should give you the latest version. So I'm just going to copy that and then paste it into my terminal. And yes, let's just replace it. Okay, uh, so now that we have everything downloaded, if you type in clear to clear your screen and type in Mix uh space space sorry space dash dash help um you should see this new mix test um that allow you to create a uh phoenix application so let's type that in mix phoenix dot new so we're going to create a blog so i'm just going to name it blog and then it's going to ask you if you want to install your dependency i'm just going to say yes and notice by doing that it's just doing npm install and then node bunch build and then it's running mix get and notice up here it created all of these um, basics files for you and um, you should try to it might be too late now but you should try to follow uh, name it block uh, as well because that name is going to be used for our module so that's why um, it's better that you follow the same name and then you can change it later when you play around with it. So notice here the instruction is telling you to go to CD into blog and then to get the server up and running you type in mix phoenix dot server. Okay. So now it's gonna compile everything. Um is most of these are your dependency. We haven't written any code yet, but Phoenix already create. Um, the basic for us. So then once it's started, we can actually just go to um, open up in the browser. Okay, so let me just notice now it's saying that um, it started on port 4000. Okay, so if you go to localhost port 4000 and notice here is your um, brand new Phoenix application.